Okay, so today we're going to look at three of my most favorite extensions for Google Chrome. These are things that are going to help make your browsing secure, less intrusive and much, much quicker. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to look at three of my most favorite extensions for Google Chrome. These are going to help you browse the internet much easier, much faster and much more secure. So first of all, let's go to the Google Chrome App Store or the Google Chrome Extension Store. So click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go down to Extensions and go to Visit Chrome Web Store, left click. And then we'll see up here, you've got search extensions and themes. Now, the first one I'm going to look at is it solves a really annoying problem, especially for us here in Europe. So say, for instance, I go to, I don't know, yahoo.co.uk. When I go to it and virtually any website, the first thing I'm going to see is the cookie notice. And when we go into manage privacy settings, what do you do? What do you select? There's so much in here and you can go even further into it. And, you know, there's just so much, so many things that you could select, you could unselect, but you really don't know what you should be selecting. So this actual add on is going to simplify things for you. It's going to select the absolute minimum you need to use the website in terms of selections on cookies. So it's, it's designed to protect your privacy and like I say, just use the most essential settings. And it does this automatically for you. I'll show you this in a second. So that particular extension is called I Still don't care about cookies. I still don't care about cookies. This is a fork. It's an offshoot of I don't care about cookies, which was bought by Avast. And I must admit, a lot of people don't trust Avast because even though they're a well-respected antivirus, they do have a habit of trying to sell you stuff you really don't need. So let's click on I still don't care about cookies and then click on add to Chrome and click on add extension and let that install. There you go. It's now been installed. So now if I go to Yahoo and the cookie notice popped up, but as you saw, it quickly disappeared and it's let us in. And what it's done is it's accepted the absolute bare minimum that you need to accept to get you into the website. If you wanted to turn that off, then uh, you can do it on a per site basis. So click on the little jigsaw piece, click on I still don't care about cookies. And there you go. You can say disable extension on the current website and then refresh it. And there you go. The cookie notice has come back. OK, so my next favorite add on is an ad blocker, and that is uBlock Origin. Now, you might have read recently that Basically, the version of uBlock Origin that we've all known and loved may be cancelled soon because of the way that Google allow developers to design their ads. Basically, it's designed on an old platform, which is no longer being supported from sometime next year. But the developer has made a light version, which is developed on the new system, and that is uBlock Origin Lite. So if you type in your search uBlock Origin Lite and then press enter or return on your keyboard, you'll see this one here. So click on that there and then click on add to Chrome, click on add extension and let it load. Now, this is a great great ad blocker because it allows you to select what websites you want to block ads on and what you don't. You might have read recently that YouTube are only letting us watch three videos at the most, and then they're going to pop up a message and block you from watching any more videos if you're using an ad blocker. So what we can do is we can what they call whitelist certain websites with this so that it doesn't enforce the ad blocker. So OK, so it's installed now and now it's given us the setting screen. So it's saying the default filtering mode. Are we going to select basic, optimal or complete? Now, the higher the protection, the less likely you are to be able to use the website properly, because basically the more it's blocking, the more, the more deeper it goes into the, the website. So what I say is a de as a default, go for optimal. So click this circle just to the left of optimal and then click allow. OK, and let's just go into a website. So let's, for instance, go into Yahoo. So go to yahoo.com and here 
there are no adverts from what I can see on the page. Now, I'm going to bring uBlock Origin up onto this bar here because we can, we've got the ability to turn it on and off. So I'm just going to click on that there. I'm going to click on the pin just to the right of uBlock Origin right light. And there you go. There's the uh, icon just up there. Now, if I click on that, there you go. We can change the setting for that website. So if I turn the filtering off, the page reloads. And as you can see straight away, adverts start appearing. There's one there. And if I scroll down a little bit, there you go, one there. Now I'm going to turn that back on. And there you go, the adverts have gone. But say, for instance, I went to YouTube and YouTube, like I say, don't allow you to uh, to have blockers. So let's just go into YouTube. I haven't seen this notice yet myself. Let's just uh, reject all of those. And as you can see there, there's a little blue box just to the right of the shield there. And that tells us how many ads have already been blocked. So I'm going to turn this off for YouTube. So I'm going to click on the little shield and then take that bar all the way down to no filtering. And that means we're going to allow YouTube to display adverts on the website here. And YouTube aren't going to block us from watching videos. But if I go back to, say, Yahoo and go into there, the ad blocker has turned itself back on. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's OK, but have I got to go and turn it back off every single time? No, because if I go back to YouTube now, go back in there and the ad blocker has now been turned off because it's remembered that you didn't want to block ads on that particular website. So it's great. You can do this on a site by site basis. And my third and final favorite extension is an extension called NoScript. And what that does is that stops scripts from running in the background, i.e. if a website's been infected by a virus, then it will stop it from passing on that virus to your computer. It stops a lot of things in actual fact. So before I install it, I'm just going to go to this website here. I'm just going to go to ESUS. So uh, and I'm going to go to their download center and we've got all this come up. So we've got ESUS wants to show notifications, allow or block, which is a pain, an absolute pain. Sometimes you're going to get offers pop up on the screen as well. But the bottom line is if there was malicious code in the background of this particular website and it was running, it could effectively do anything to your computer. So this particular app, this no script, what it does is it stops scripts from running in the background. And I say it's called no script, no script. It's all one word, N-O-S-C-R-I-P-T. Type that into the web store and it's this one just here. So if I click on that, click on add to Chrome, click on add extension, and hopefully within a couple of seconds, there you go. It says it's been added to Chrome. Now, if I go back to ESUS now, let's just uh, type that in again and click on that there or go to the download center. There we go. There was no pop up there. This is static. The page loaded a lot, lot faster. There are some pictures missing, granted. But the website's loaded a lot, lot quicker and it's still showing us the information that we want to see. Now, if I go into the no script extension there and go into the settings, you will see here there's a list of per site permissions and it's automatically trusted certain websites that it knows are perfectly safe, perfectly OK and uh, are, are perfectly uh, have not got anything running in the background that could cause your computer to, uh, to to mess up. So uh, that's there. You can also add other websites. So say, for instance, if I wanted to whitelist ESUS and make it so that it is trusted, then what I could do is I could go into the NoScript app there and there you go. You've got ESUS there. And if I tap on this one here, S, that means it's trusted. If I reload the website, there we go. All the graphics have come back, but also this has as well. Or if I want to make it non-trusted, then I can click on the S with a cross through it, refresh the website, and there we go. We're back to normal. So this is great if you 
frequently visit websites that you're not really sure about, not really sure whether or not there is stuff running in the background. Of course, you can just turn the thing on and off as and when you need it. Up there is an S with an exclamation mark, which is disable restrictions globally. So you can turn the whole thing off by clicking on that. OK, and then refresh and uh, every website won't be restricted. But if you do go to a website that you you think to yourself, oh, I'm not really sure about that, then what you can do is you can click on the little extension there, click on that there and then click on that red exclamation mark there. Turn it back on just for that particular uh, browsing session and there you go. So there you go. That's three great little extensions for Google Chrome that I love and I use them all the time. Hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're looking for a new VPN or want to have a look through my Amazon store, then have a look in the description down below. There's loads of links down there. Also, if you're looking to buy a Fire Stick, a Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories, or as I say, looking at subscribing to a VPN, then please do consider using the links down below as donating or using those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.